Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to paint some old closet doors. Now these old doors were manufactured in 1985. It's uh, 2020 right now so it makes these doors 35 years old. They were originally birch closet doors. They were stained and on one side the outside they actually have somewhat of a sealer I don't know. see this the this the inside they're not sealed very well this side has a little bit more of a gloss to it they had a very light sealer on there on the stain but the sides in the back really don't um, the grain isn't sealed very well you can see the dates here upside down uh, they were made in uh, January 24th, 1985. They're birch. So anyways, these doors need to be primered. And then I'm going to paint them with some trim paint, make them look nice. Uh, so the primer, what I'm going to use, because these, these were stained and they're not sealed that well, the stain will tend to bleed through normal cheap primer. Uh, we're getting a a little bad light here. Let's get, let's get some better light here for you. Okay. Well, here's the primer I chose to use. It's uh, Zinsser Fast Prime Interior Oil Base Primer and Sealer. Uh, it's recodable in two hours. Um, pretty good stuff. I've used it before. And okay. Well, this primer uh, works well for going over stain surfaces on wood um, a lot of the water-based primer would work but this works better to oil base I've been told and I out of from times using it it does work better on the uh, stain surfaces it seals the stain in and then when you paint it the stain won't bleed through the paint which can happen if you don't seal it properly so I'm gonna go around and paint this and show you a little bit and get going on this. Okay. First, I'm going to get the, the sides of this real quick. Get a quick coat. Seal the end grain. I'm going to do the, the sides in the back first, let it dry, then I'm going to do the front. Because the front's got to be the best looking surface, so I'm going to do that last.
Okay, I just finished uh, the first coat on the sides and the back of the doors. I uh, did a time lapse there for you. Hopefully that turned out good. It's my first time lapse on my new GoPro and my new uh, YouTube channel, the Schooler channel. All right, so I'm gonna show you these doors. Oh, they're wet right now, but is that sealed in grain good? And like once again, these were a stained wood surface that weren't sealed very well. And if you don't if you don't prime it with a good primer, that stain will actually bleed right through the paint when you paint it. So this primer is a very important step. Once again, primer I'm using is this fast prime primer sealer. It's an oil-based. Oil-based seems to seal, uh, I'm told, it seals the uh, stain surface better. So we're going to see how that works out. When it dries, it'll look probably probably thin. This stuff's pretty thin. It's very watery, but it looks like it's going to soak in good and probably seal it. I haven't had a problem before. I've used it a few times on other things. So we're going to let this dry, and then when we come back, we'll do the... I'll flip the doors over and do the front surface and uh, see how that looks and then continue with the project. Okay, we're back. Um, the backs and the sides of this have had enough time to, to dry. They're slightly tacky in spots. It's only been a couple hours. But I'm going to go ahead and flip it and I'm going to put it up and show you. I have these little stands. they got points on them. You put it, flip it over and only that little point will touch the actual work surface so it won't mess up. See, it'll be like this upside down. It doesn't really mess up what you're going to stand it up on so it doesn't stick to the sawhorses. Sorry, there's a car going by. So it doesn't stick to the sawhorses. And then um, I'll go ahead and put a, a new coat on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and try out the uh, time lapse on this. And this is the Schooler Channel, and be right back. So I'm done primering this. I am going to let it dry for a few days. Um, the oil-based primer has a strong scent to it and you have to let that evaporate out before you can finish coat it. Well they say you can coat it in a few hours but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let it cure for a couple days. Then I'll 
uh, get another video of finishing this up. So thanks for watching the Schooler channel. Over and out. Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, today I am continuing painting these closet doors. The primer is all dried and I'm putting the uh, finished coat of paint on them today. Um, on the back sides, I'll do the finished coat on the front tomorrow so the backs can dry. And I'll do a quick uh, time lapse of that because there's nothing special to watch. And enjoy! Okay, um, I got the, the sides and the backs of all the doors finished with the uh, trim paint that I'm using. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, not much to see, just uh, finished this side up. i um, going to let this dry tomorrow. Hopefully if it's still warm out, I will flip them over tomorrow and finish painting the the other side which is the actually outside of the doors that you see all the time and then that'll do it for these doors um, I'll quick show you the paint I'm using okay well here's the paint that I'm using hard to see here there we go it's a Conco interior semi-gloss acrylic water base enamel 3000 it's uh, cabinets and trim paint. It's actually a very good thick paint. I've used this paint on other trim in my house and it's very durable. It goes on very good and thick. Uh, a lot of times you get cheap paint and it, if you get paint and it's really thin and runny, it's probably not good paint. Uh, I know sometimes you buy the cheaper stuff, but it just doesn't work good for a lot of stuff. Especially like trimming that, you want it to go on uh, thick enough to where it's going to be durable and cover in one coat. This stuff covers in one coat. Uh, a lot of thinner paint will not cover in one coat. And that's a lot of waste of time. Unless you've got time to waste, that's fine. Um, that's going to do it for today. Like I said, tomorrow. I'll finish painting the other side of the doors and I'll show you the completed project soon, I hope. All right, this is Schooler Channel, over and out. Hey everyone, welcome back to Schooler Channel. Um, last night I went ahead and uh, finished up the last coat of paint on the front of the closet doors uh, it was late in the evening so I didn't get the camera out sorry you missed that but um, all it was was flipping the doors over and painting the other side and so they've had most of the day to dry now they're all dry so uh, hopefully either today or tomorrow I'll put the doors back together assemble them and rehang them on the closet and I'll get you a finished up picture of how they look they're nothing special, it's just a plain flat door, but they were a dark brown. They weren't they was actually like an off brown, it was a weird color. And uh, they just were out of style and needed updating. So I updated to the, the, the off white color here. I'll give you a quick look and that'll be it for the video. They look like they turned out real well. 
uh, I'm glad with the results. The uh, primer really makes a big difference on that bare wood. So, and it seals that, that um, stain. Because otherwise, like I said before, the stain will bleed right through this white paint if you don't seal it with a good primer. And you'll end up with streaks of brown showing up through the paint and you have to keep putting more layers of paint over the top to, to, to hide that. So the primer makes the job a lot easier. All right, so the next uh, part of the video, I'll be showing you the doors all installed and what the finished, finished uh, product looks like. So thanks for watching the school channel. See you soon. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, I'm just gonna finish up this painting video of these closet doors. Uh, just wanted to show you what they look like finished. They're just plain doors, but they look a lot better than they did before. I'll give you a quick look at them and that'll probably be it. Thanks for watching the Schooler channel. I'm gonna keep trying to get new ideas for you and just keep stuff, you know, try to entertain you. Well, there you go. They used to be that off brown color, that reddish brown uh, birch wood. And now they're finished. See, they, the trim is white also. That, that's why I did that. It matches all the trim. Everything's been updated. Everything was, you know, 35 years old, so I updated everything. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Over and out. Bye.